It does feel like the bull market's coming back a little, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which means maybe we should go looking for a undervalued project. And I've got a recommendation today. And okay. the name of the project is Icon. It has a bit of a matrix vibe. The entry point is really good. And the team behind it is crazy talented. And I am not saying that lightly. I'm going to tell you who these people are and what they do in real life because cool. it's going to blow your mind. Welcome back, everyone. If you are new here, we do videos on NFTs and Web3. If you want to learn about new products, new projects, then you're in the right place. Like and subscribe. We appreciate you being here. And let's get into today's topic. We are going to talk today about Icon. And okay. this is a project that I saw somebody talking about on Twitter a while ago, a few months ago. And they described it as a sleeping giant. So obviously I was intrigued and <laughs> I came in to look at the website and I was like, okay, okay, what is this? What is going on here? Right now, this project, if you want to buy the NFTs, it is on OpenSea and it's a pretty low entry point at 0.067 oh, wow. ETH. And the artwork also, when I first took a look at it, I was like, wow, that's actually it's cool. It's Pretty really freaking cool. amazing, right? Yeah. If you're looking for a project that doesn't have a lot of buzz right now, that looks incredibly good and has an extremely talented team. And when I say extremely talented, I'm like off the charts talented. This is a good one to get into. So I wanted to give it some proper moment in the spotlight on our show because <laughs> around here, we not only talk about true degen projects we also talk about stuff that looks pretty freaking awesome creative yeah. and not a rug this is in the not a rug category this first button here the code so this is just a little bit talking about what their project is about and they describe this as a their end goal is to create this immersive storytelling platform for the metaverse generation so if you keep hearing people talk about storytelling nfts this is one of them they have recently released the first storyline in lamic book form and i like what i'm hearing so far it's very matrixy okay if you're into that sort of storyline like like you know familiar but yeah, it's a familiar archetype if you like the matrix i think you're gonna like this they have a intro video here which also intrigued the crap out of me when I first saw it because I was like, oh, it's like pretty, pretty dope looking. They have just released their first comic, which you can only access if you own um, one of the first edition icon NFTs. So I'm not going to go spoil through it. the and spoil it for everyone. But, <laughs> but uh, I will say that there are 10 icons and these are supposed to be influencers in a world right okay and they've got control of the whole public and there is a agency that works for these icons that are the big influencers of this cyberpunk land cool. and these 10 characters are the 10 characters that you can find in the first editions on OpenSea and they all look a little bit different, but you will see they are the same characters. So if I come in here and pick Oba, they're all in elite, elite-ish language. You read the numbers as letters and you can see these are all the same character, but different variations of him. Mm -hmm. And they, again, are like really freaking awesome looking. Yeah, really like the style a lot. I love the style and I like that it's pretty much 50-50 female and male characters. And they just look super, super professional. The color uh, palette too. The color palette. I like how cool. it's not like super neon and vibrant, but there's a lot of depth to it. Yeah, there's some interesting characters in here too. Like this things like a That's cyborg cool. type of thing. But then also, if you look at these characters on the site, you'll see that there's two variations of them and they flip. Ooh. So there's like the more human version and then maybe the more cyberpunk versions, kind of the vibe I'm getting, right? Yeah. So I I think that's interesting. That's really cool. As well. Yeah. So again, that's <laughs> that matrix thing I was talking about where there's two maybe alternate world things going on here, like the cyber world and the real world. Cool. Uh, they have 
this map in here. So you can also find this in their Discord. This is just the roadmap of all the stuff that they have planned. It is very ambitious. So they have not only a comic book series that they are releasing, they also are planning on doing events. And since they have a background in groundbreaking festivals and immersive experiences to do like really intense in real life events. And the two of us happen to have been to Art With Me Festival in Miami, which was actually a, we were one VIP passes through this icon project mm -hmm. to go check it out. It was a really cool festival full of immersive experiences. And the lead artist, Adam Polina, was one of the people who worked on that festival. So he, um, this is just a Google search of him. He has a background as a comic book artist and he's worked extensively with Marvel X-Force comics. If you're into that sort of thing, you're probably gonna like this, right? So they're also gonna do fashion collab stuff. They also have an idea to do a on-screen animated series. I know we hear a lot of talk about projects doing this. This one, however, it looks like it has more potential than not for that to happen because they have already started making some animated mm. stuff. They mm -hmm. have this YouTube page, which they've just started to post videos on. And the these videos are like legit, right? Like these, this team of artists already knows how to animate. They know how to make comic book characters. They know <laughs> how to write storylines. They have a technology background, UX. They also have in real life festival event experience. This is a very, very talented team. Yeah. This is really exciting. This was just released three days ago at time of recording. It's January 9th, 2022. The first 2023. Look at this stuff. 2023. Thank you. <laughs> I'm still living in the past. The biggest selling point of this project to me is the team. Big team. Uh, if you come in here and hover over these, you can get some details. So this is who I was speaking of earlier, Adam mm -hmm. Polina. He is cross medium designer, has worked with DC, Marvel, EA Sports, Disney. We have a creative director for Nike, Virgin, and Lyft. We have a co creator of the ARG, lead writer for The Beast. He, this guy's also won an Emmy. He has 12 novels, a New York Times bestseller, and World Fantasy Award winner. Like, what the F? Like, this team is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is a game designer and product, co creator of GTA and State of Emergency, created 100 games across consoles, mobile, and social innovator in AR gaming. All right. Yeah. Uh, advisor who is head of RD at Disney. Hello, head of RD at Disney. No pink Pro yet. Probably has some expertise. He probably has some expertise. We got a uh, CTO, multi award winning software engineer, former lead blockchain architect, BN BNP. I don't know what that is, but it sounds important. We have Prism Group.io, which is an advisory uh, team of crypto economists to lead token economics program initiatives. If they're going to do any sort of tokenomics stuff, they've got that advisors ready to go for that. They have an visionary who has worked on Ready Player One, Blade Runner, Dune, and Spider-Man. Like, next, we have a co-author of The Social Organism, Disney head of digital media, so another Disney guy, CEO of the audience, Coachella Pixar Amex. Uh, veteran game developer, seventh guest and 11th hour Quake 3 Arena, chairman at International Game Developers Association. <laughs> Another advisor R&D lead at Riot Games. Like, holy crap. Creator of Guardians of the Galaxy. What? This is crazy. Executive creative director at Magic Leap, comic artist and writer. This advisor is a Marvel editor for, has been a Marvel editor for 10 years. X-Men, Wolverine, X-Force, Cables, Spectacular Spider-Man, and Fantastic Four. And the founder of Firebase. If you don't know what that is, it's like a Google testing thing. Which and The point I'm getting at is this team... What the hell? <laughs> it's like the amount of individual experience they have and how they all came together is so wild. And just imagine the types of connections that they have. So as they really start to execute on this roadmap, it's pretty clear that they've got the chops to actually get the job done. Exactly. That Again, that entry point is so low right now. Yeah. Not FA, but if you're <laughs> looking... <laughs> looking for something cool that if nothing else supports a team of wildly talented people this would be a good one to get into they also just recently dropped these pills these are the icon and anthology pills oh right what was a little bit interesting about this drop is that it happened a little bit before christmas which i don't know how everybody else feels about that but i think that was bad timing because i was so busy and i think a mm -hmm. lot of people are that I, at just nfts just dropped off my radar so i just started looking into what this is i'm like oh, okay what are these for so what you can do with these is come if you have one of these pills and you have one of these first editions you will be able to come onto the website and open up the comic book the first edition 
you can connect into this with your MetaMask wallet to read the comic. Again, I'm not going to click through this and give everything away, but as you go through it, you get into the first storyline for what is going on with this group of characters and what kind of comic book series this is going to turn into. And then at the end of it, there's a puzzle. And if you can crack the puzzle, then you can incubate the um. character with one of these pills. So they take the pill, again, Ma Matrix vibes, right? So take the pill yeah. and then they start to evolve. And unclear at this point of if it's the pill that evolves or the character, but something's gonna evolve. And there are traits on these pills to look at that will have a different effect on how characters evolve. I have not been able to crack the puzzle yet, but they did say that this is going to continue on with more as you unlock each comic book's puzzle there will be another edition released of the comic and then there will be another puzzle and it's going to continue to be this interactive digital experience they say this is a year of work that they put together it's all ready to go i'm so into this right isn't this fun uh-huh and then they also say there's going to be like a bunch of other stuff that they're dropping because they've got that crazy roadmap and if you come into their discord they reiterate that wild roadmap and despite the fact that I don't see a wild amount of activity yet in this project. These people are definitely here for the long haul. And this was launched in the middle of crypto winters. I think once people start to see this and what they're doing and who the team is, they're gonna be like, wait, should I get in well, on this one? Only 1% one, 1 of those pills are listed. How much on the first edition? 3%. 3%. Yeah, so 3% equates to 324 items, which is, that's a, a, not a lot left, right? Out of 10, not, oh, a little under 10,000, 9,996. But I would say, just looking at this, 20% unique owners seems low. A lot of people holding some big bags of this. Yes, blue chip holders. There is a 11% overlap with blue chip holders. The overlap looks like the majority of mutual holders are coming from Clonex, Moonbirds, <laughs> Mutant Ape, Doodles, World of Women, MeBits, Cool Cats, NFT, Board Ape Yacht Club. So that is Icon. I am certainly excited to see what they continue to roll out. I'm going to be paying a lot more attention to this project. I've just been holding for a while, being like, what is this? I don't know. It's <laughs> for the art. <laughs> Big thanks to the team at Icon for giving us. Yes. Those VIP passes to art with me. We had a great time down there and we were really bummed out that we didn't get to meet the lead artist, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe next year. Right. So let's do our patented backed by science glue sniff rating of Icon as a project. I'm ready. On a scale of one glue sniff to three glue sniffs, how many glue sniffs would it take you to buy into this project? One glue sniff, meaning it's not going to take a lot of glue, and three being you have to be totally out of your mind. I would say I am at the probably one glue sniff. You seem a little unsure. What's the hesitation? The biggest hesitation is the lack of diversification in holders. 20% feels really low to me, but the barrier to entry is low. To buy one on secondary is not excessive and the team is so strong that it's like okay well they've got everything maybe they just don't have a huge community so i would say probably one sniff yeah but it really is just again a small community which makes me hesitant but big chops on the team so worth it's, the risk what you say is a negative is what i say is a positive so yeah i think this is an undiscovered giant and i'm happy to be talking about it on our show because it's a one glue sniffer for me yeah. for the fact that people don't know yet. Yep. I think I have two, but that's obviously because you told me about it forever ago. Yep. Like maybe when it was minting or something like that. And I'm like, oh, the artwork's really cool. And I know I have one of the pills. I had no idea what it did. And now that there's a puzzle associated to it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will be spending my evening working on that. Uh <laughs> Same. I'm really behind on like catching up with all my NFT projects. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to crack the puzzle 
And yeah. I'm excited about the future of Icon NFT projects. Yeah, there's definitely some wild potential. And with that, thank you for joining us. And tune in again. We do new videos mostly every Wednesday and Saturday. We miss a few here and there for some holiday stuff. Yeah. But we're back for 2023. So yes. do like and subscribe. We appreciate you being here. And we will see you.